<laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Patriot Specialized. Thanks for tuning back in today. Today, see ghosts back there in the background. We got us a nice military tank. <clears throat> this is a, I believe it's a Bradley. We're going down to, um, we're taking this one down to Anniston, Alabama. <clears throat> kind of interesting how we ended up uh, getting it picked up and um, making our way down here for delivery. So stick around. We'll be right back. Six plains and prairies, rocky mountain highs, fade off into the distance like ghost riders in the sky. Black smoke and white line, still horses side. you just saw the intro <laughs> we are back at our favorite uh, rest stop on our way down to Anniston Alabama I uh, I end up here I just kind of like this rest area it's got it's kind of scenic and uh, it's a good place to stop take a break check change do that kind of stuff so <clears throat> I haven't uh, haven't covered one of these in a while well in a couple weeks anyways we've been running other stuff so I figured I'd go ahead and cover it now for those of you, we've met, we had a bunch, the last couple episodes, we had a whole bunch of new subscribers, new people watching the channel. I just want to say I appreciate that, man. That was fantastic the other day when that number was just growing like crazy. And, and we, had, we hit a record with, uh, with one of my episodes on, on how many views it got. It was pretty crazy. The thing went almost 10,000 views already. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody watching the channel, subscribe to the channel, everybody watching these videos. It really, uh, it's really neat to watch this process and, and see how these numbers grow. So that being said, we're going to talk about this thing right here. We got a, this is a Bradley armored hospital, I believe. Um, it is a medical tank comes in and gets people when they uh, need evacuation. I, I it, Man, you need a tank to evacuate you. <laughs> this will do it, I guess. So what I did for procurement, this unit weighs, we are 26 foot long overall, 11 and a half foot wide. It's got this piece up on top. I don't know if you guys can see it up there, but it's got this piece up on top that sticks out quite a bit further. So the height on this thing, the width or the width on this thing, is really up high not down low which is, is interesting you got to keep an eye on that thing when you're trucking down the road and you're watching in your mirror it's natural for us truck drivers to be watching down here and see what it's up against but we don't think about that way up there and what it could be hitting so you got to pay attention it's it's one of them layers of hull and specialized you got to pay attention to to the whole unit anyways we are 11 and a half foot wide total width and uh, we're at like 10 foot high, uh, not enough to even make me measure it, uh, not even close to being a problem. So unit weighs 65, 64 to 65,000 pounds. I, I got uh, pulled into the Virginia scale. You're going to see a shot of that here real quick. I, I actually took my video inside, my camera inside and video while I was inside, but for whatever reason, it didn't pick up the volume. So I don't have any volume on it, but you'll see me in there getting checked out. Everything checked out good. They printed out the scale ticket for me. Let me know what my axles were, what, what the state said my axles were. That was fantastic. I'm very nice of them. They didn't need to do that, but uh, I asked them and they did it. So <clears throat> that was cool. So we're about 65,000 pounds. Axle weights. I'll put that, I'll, I'll take a, a picture of that and I'll put it up here. 
Axle weights are almost dead on. We're just under 41,000, I believe. I don't remember the exact numbers. We're just under 41 on the drives, and we're like 54,000 on the trailer. It's absolutely couldn't be any better, exactly how you want it. So what I did for securement on that, knowing that it's 64,000, we got three chains back here. We get credit for all three of them because they go all the way across. <clears throat> because this one starts here, attached to this side of the trailer, goes through, comes the other side, X's, even though it's X'd, it's going all the way across so we get full credit for it. So that's uh, that's what we did on the back. I got all three chains. We got the, the two X'd and then the one going through the hitch. That gives us uh, three full chains credit back here at 6,500 pounds each. And obviously you gotta have the markers on the widest portion. This is kind of interesting that none of this, none of this body here is metal. The magnet doesn't stick to anything except this bracket right here for this mud flap. So uh, that's the only piece of metal. So obviously we got our, our signs on, our flags on at the widest portion of load, signs on the front and back of the load, gotta have that. And uh, <clears throat> that's what we got going on the front. So let's go check out the back real quick. All right, so here we are at the back. <clears throat> this is what we did back here. Almost the same exact thing as the front. I went ahead and put two chains going across. This is actually one chain, two binders, but I get full credit for two, two separate chains because of the way, they're designed, with the way they're set up on there. You'll see that in one of the other episodes. And then I got this chain here that's going all the way across, both of them, all the way through and locking in the other side. Of course, as always, widest portion of load. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> widest portion of load here got our magnet flags on this is this plate right here as i talked about up front this plate right here is the only piece of metal that i could find on this thing as an outside portion of load so that's why we put our flags here get it to the widest portion of load as wide as we can be and uh <clears throat> got on the front i put it on the same spot on that mud flat bracket so that we made sure that uh we got the four corners marked so uh we are pretty much ready to go. I mean, it's uh, been pretty good load, pretty easy load. I actually got in there last night. Um, you saw me deliver the, you saw me deliver the um, airplane refueler yesterday. I got that delivered and I got a phone call and here's something interesting to talk about. Uh, you heard me talking about the roads being shut down in Pennsylvania yesterday. I, there was a couple guys that were supposed to load a, um, the customer that we get these from yesterday. And apparently they, um, tried to run in the snow with overdimensional yesterday both got uh, I, I think it was both of them but they got pulled over and got cited for being in the snow yesterday and that ticket for them was not only did they get shut down for the rest of the day but that ticket was sixteen hundred dollars so they that load basically they're hauling that load for free if not paying money to haul that load because of the sixteen hundred dollar fine so it goes to show that pa is pretty serious when they say that these are these are the closures these are what we want you to do they're pretty serious about it and when they do it they're going to hit you they're going to make a believer out of you they're going to hit you with a pretty healthy fine so keep that in mind if you're if you're thinking about taking the risk and, and doing something that when pa's got the road shut down keep that sixteen hundred dollar number in mind and uh it might ch <laughs> might change how you feel about that so that was that opened up a door for me though uh, i didn't think i was loading until 6 30 in the morning but because they weren't able to make it customer called our agent said hey man we got a couple trucks that aren't going to make it in here if you got anybody close they can come in a load so i got over got delivered kind of hauled my butt over there to york um got in there i wasn't able to get because i didn't get there till about two o'clock so i wasn't able to get the paperwork for it because paperwork comes from the office office workers went home i think uh two or two thirty they went home so by the time I got loaded, by the time second shift got there and got me loaded and everything, those guys had gone home, so I wasn't able to get the paperwork, but I did get it loaded last night, chained down, ready to go, signed and flagged, all ready to go. So all I had to do this morning is go in there, hook to it real fast, grab my paperwork and get out of there. So we rolled out of York about 8.15, 8.30 this morning, and we're gonna be just like we always are. We're gonna be sitting in Knoxville this evening. Um, <clears throat> probably have about three and a half hours to go to delivery. As of right now, and this is a struggle and something we'll probably talk about, as of right now, I don't have a load for tomorrow, so I'm not in any big super hurry. I'll probably get up and get moving as early as possible and get out just so I can be empty in case I find something in the morning. Hopefully the boards will change and something will pop up. I had a, a couple in mind, but it just didn't work out. So here we go. We're going to get back on the road. We're going to get this thing down to Knoxville, get parked, and we will talk to you guys soon.
So as you just saw us pulling into the second Tennessee Knoxville scale. Uh, we're going to go inside here and uh, show them our permit. 